Wow! If we go to level 7 to level 9 token tasks, we can get 80 to 120 stable coins per quest. What? Recently, we talked about how important it is in crypto games to have easy accessibility to earning mechanics. This game does it really well, I'm not gonna lie. This is a free-to-play MMORPG. It's up and coming, so this is the beta version. They're migrating from the network they're using now to Ronin. This is a sort of first impressions video. And to go back on my first point, how easy is it to earn? As easy as opening the task board, we have our token tasks right here, and I've already accepted this quest to get 10 cents of their token, Basically, this is their stable coin, and this is just the first quest that I got after opening the game. I'm literally level one. So you have many more quests that are more difficult to do in order to earn more tokens. We'll try together to earn these tokens now. We have 24 hours to do it, and here's what we need to do. Now I have no idea how to do all of these tasks, so we'll figure it out together and explore the game. First of all, when you open it, this is what you see. A sort of Paper Mario guy looking absolutely menacing with his facial expressions in a 3D cartoon too nice kind of world and I'm absolutely loving it man I'm absolutely loving it now the thing about this game is it's not too easy to play so it is an MMORPG and there is leveling mechanics to this so if you open your leveling system here there's farming mastery there's combat mastery and then there's the gathering mastery so I tried leveling up combat a little bit so I'm level one you start at level zero but the characters I've encountered are absolutely menacing like the way people look in this game at the higher levels it's absolutely insane so what we need to do right now is to find wire mash I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to do that but if we go here to our tasks we also have regular daily tasks bounty tasks and then obviously the token tasks I do, oh Stop attacking me, man. I'm trying to do a monologue here talking to the camera. Jeez, leave me alone. You see, this guy is level one. Look at how much damage he deals to me. So you do need to have some sort of gameplay knowledge before you just jump into the game. So I attack him once. I tried to slide away, dodge attacks, and otherwise you would just get eliminated. This is like the easiest character. Did you can fuck, come on, come on. You're not gonna best me here. I'm doing a video. There we go. Are you impressed? I dealt with the weakest character in the game. Are you impressed by me? <laughs> We open our inventory here. I have some green slime and I do have some wire mash. Those are two of the three things that we will need. So I know more or less that these are drops from the mobs that we slay. And if you look below the mini map, we have a 20% drop rate. So we're gonna have to deal with quite a few of these mobs. Initially, oh wow, how do you do that dash? That was so cool. There's dungeons, there's PvP. It gets so brutal and so amazing in the later stages of the game. Nolan, I've been looking for you, buddy. So regarding those boxes mate newly acquired items need to be unlocked in order to sell them okay well can, can i craft some of these items yes i can but i need packaging paper and a packaging box and i don't have any of these <laughs> never mind nolan talk to you later buddy i have planted some of these seeds let's go towards them and see what they give me so this is the cool thing about doing a sort of first glance first look experience because we're experiencing this together for now i have planted this and i would expect that i would get some water or this pickaxe or whatever darren stole me in my inventory but i don't see any of that Ah, uh, never mind. We have a thing. All right, I'm gonna put the thing here on my hotkey number three. And this should be easy. There we go. So it is very intuitive then. Hi, Ollie. How's it going, man? The owl, you're an owl man. Wow, that's a cool looking skin, bro. All right, these are my plants. They need to be watered a couple of times. All of them. You're just having fun whistling away. Not giving any tunes, though. Editor, can you put some derpy whistling sounds when he does this? Look at this. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, okay. This is this is satisfying. I'm not gonna lie. Are right, we gonna return the quest now? We have enough. We're gonna get some XP and try to level up. I think he's gonna introduce me now to mining. Let's see. All right, I got your things that you needed. Here you go. I'm gonna give you two bamboo. You're gonna get two of these trifolium and two carrots. Here you go. Enjoy. All right, what'd they get? I got experience. So we go to farming now. I should be able to level up some of these. Livestock essence. Yeah, we do need that. We need the livestock essence. Remember, guys? We need that for those boxes, <laughs> right? So we can also refresh the token task. Let's try to do that, see what happens. All right, so I need to use this wire mash that I have in order to refresh. So let's do it just to see what happens. Uh, I can't because I have this ongoing task. Okay, got it. At least something for me, bro. What the hell? He's level three and he's destroying them like that? Come on. All right, so from this guy, I may be able to get some slime. Let's see. He's the cactus warrior. Should be pretty easy. We get two hits. We dodge away. We let him do the attack. We do two hits. Three. Dodge away. Boom. Pretty simple. Still takes some skill. There we go. We got a slime. That's how we do it. All right, so we got two slimes and we will get those tokens. Ah. 
Revive me, stranger. Revive me. Please. Thank you. Thank you so much. My hero. All right, back on my hunt. Yes, when you die, someone can revive you. If they don't revive you, you have to respawn. Unfortunately, I didn't get any drops there. All right, farming continues. Oh, I know exactly how you feel, little buddy. This was exhausting, but we got it. Let's complete the quest. We got the vine. We got the mash. We got the slime. Boom. And we got the 10 tokens. 0 0.10 tokens. Absolutely awesome. That's how easy it is. Now, we do want more of these lucky points. So farming these quests for lucky points is also amazing because the more lucky points you have, the better token tasks you will have. So these are some of the other token tasks that I have not gotten yet. So from level zero to level three, I can, for example, do this one task that's going to give me between 2.4 and 3.6 of these stable coins that they offer per one quest. So it's very simple to earn in this game. And that's something that I definitely, definitely enjoy. What I would recommend to you after farming all of this, it took a while, not going to lie, it did take a while because I'm such a low level. I see all these other guys here just running through these little metal mutts. So I I want to level up myself as much as possible before anything else because now i'm such a low level that doing the token tasks just don't make sense what makes way more sense is to level up my guy and then do more token tasks so that's what we will do i uh, will try to level up my guy a little bit more let me go back to the tasks and we're just gonna do experience task right now oh my god 10 wire mashes for 300 experience this great experience but to get 10 of these ain't nobody got time for that after completing 10 daily tasks you have the option to get bonus rewards such as luck and experience so let's do that we just need to kill two of these metal mutts so it's not to collect their drops which <laughs> don't have a good drop rate it's just to eliminate them so that should be pretty simple let's do that and see what happens what's up quincy how you doing buddy you got anything for me no all right never mind oh but i can level up my combat this is not combat this is gathering yeah, I can level up combat. All right, this is level max. Okay, this is not. So let's get this and we can start leveling up all of these other passive skills. So I have none of these special abilities quite yet. So let's just deal with the two metal mutts. That should be very simple. I killed so many of them to farm these tokens that I, I just have such a good strategy. They can't do anything to me now. All right, Mutt's dealt with. We can finish this quest, get some additional experience. Now uh, I have my next daily, daily task. So if I do 10, I'm going to get bonus experiences. But we did get some experience here. Let's see if there's anything we can upgrade. We can upgrade this. Combat set recipes. That's not a bad idea. But I kind of want to get these other ones. I want to get, for example, I want to get the combat mastery too. So they can level up these second skills. You know, I want this bull rush. So that's what we're going to work on. We need our guy to level up. He's too naked for this. He's not powerful enough. Fighting with a wooden sword. Not good. I want to level up my guy. Gathering. There's so many things I need to do before we're gonna go to the token task. So we'll level up all of that. Next time we do a deep dive, we will try to get a couple of these token tasks. Wow. If we go to level seven to level nine token tasks, we can get 80 to 120 stable coins per quest what ridiculous and also at the same time amazing there's so much about this game that i don't know there's so much that i need to learn about it it looks beautiful we have an exciting exciting adventure ahead of us ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i'm leaving